Kelly Cat was asking me if we get to color our fall tree and not yet soon, but not yet. So we're gonna open up inside. Let's take out our Saxon math booklet today. Put this away. And we're going to open up to our next lesson, which is called 7A at the top. And we'll start with um, by writing our numbers. And it's almost like a pattern, okay? So you'll see, it's like this. Kelly Cat wants to watch today. Okay, we start at the dot, we curve around, slant down, and go over. There's our two. The three is curve around, curve around. And the seven is pull over, slant down. Okay, so now we're gonna write those same three numbers again. So our pattern is two, three, seven. So to continue that pattern, we need to do a two, and then a three, and then a seven. Two, three, seven, two, three, seven. That's our pattern. Okay. It says in here, number two says point to the square. Remember, please, to pause if I'm going too fast for you. Take your time, and then you can start back up again and join us. Okay. Number two, point to the square on the right. Write the number four in that square. So over here is right. Most of you um, are going to be right handed, but some of you are left handed. So Right is the hand that I write with, so that's on this side. So we're going to write the number four in that square, okay? Okay, so then left is towards the middle of the book right now, and it says point to the square on the left and write the number three in that square, okay? So you're going to do that too, okay? Number three. So this one we're going to need um, some crayons. You're going to need a red crayon first. And the instructions say, color the circles red. Okay, so go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do that right here. So we're working with two shapes today, circles and squares. And notice that squares, all the sides are the same length. There's four corners and all the sides are the same. Okay, that's what makes it a square. If they weren't all the same, then it would be a different shape. Okay, and then it says color the squares blue. So find a blue crayon and color those squares blue. I'm gonna do it here. Okay. What do you think is easier to color, circles or squares? For me, the circles were easier, but maybe for you, you find the squares easier. But they're small, so they're actually pretty easy to color anyways. Okay, now it says over here on um, this top question right here, kind of under this box with the four in it, it says how many circles? So how many do we color? One, two, three. You know, it helps really to color them and then count them because you can really see the difference between the two colors. So how many squares? One, two, three, four. Then it says, how many circles and squares all together? Do we have to guess then what three plus four is? No, we are mathematicians, we can go back and count. And I just like to put a little mark when I count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven all together, okay? There we go, we're done with number three. Let's go down to number four. Do you know what this is? It's kind of like our weather graph, but turned on its side. So this is called a graph, okay? So it's a different way of graphing. You can graph sideways. You can graph, a graph up and down like we've been doing on our weather graph. So it's asking how many are in each row, okay? So we're gonna do that first, find out how many are in each row. So with the school buses, why don't you count with me? One, two, three, four, five. So there's five school buses, so we're going to write a five here. So make the neck going down, draw the round belly, lift, and go ahead and make the, give it a hat for your number five. Let's count the boots. One, two. So we're gonna write a number two on this one right here. And then lastly, it's, we're gonna count the cars. One, two, three, four. Four cars, okay? Now it says circle the row with the most. So the most, um, means the one that has more than any any of the others and 
it's really easy to see in the graph that's that it's this one right here so go ahead and circle that okay so that's it for this page you want to give yourself your exit ticket on the top to remind yourself that you just did a great job on your Saxon math pages congratulations boys and girls